touchdown after touchdown. Well, times two, they were six. Titans revealed the Jags' faults. Jaguars' usually strong defense fell flat, and the third quarter was a total disaster. Tennessee and a local guy, Derrick Henry, humiliated the Jaguars 42 to 20. I'm sure, Derrick didn't feel bad. This is Jack Sports Analyst Mark Brunel joins us this morning. Does this set the stage for an organizational overhaul? Oh, you just got right to it, didn't you, this morning? We got, yeah, why mince words? The question on everyone, everyone's minds, I don't know about complete overhaul, uh, but right now sitting at four and seven uh, with a team that looks like it won't win another game, um, you have to start thinking all, along these lines. All I can say is changes in all likelihood will be made, whether that's you know, at the top, uh, all the way to the coaching, um, hard to say. I will say it's probably too soon for that, but it is on everybody's minds, and there probably will be some changes. Yeah, I'll circle, circle back to that in a minute. Defense, abysmal. What defense? Yeah. What defense? It was supposed to be the strength of our football team, and specifically the defensive front, the defense alignment. Well, the last three weeks, Bruce, teams are rushing not over 100 yards, over 200 yards, and that happened yesterday, uh, and it's unfortunate. When you can't stop the run in the NFL, you're going to lose football games, and that is what, what's happening. And it's inexplicable because we had talked all offseason and training camp and leading up to the season how strong our defense was. It's the strength of our team. And if we have a quarterback that takes care of the ball, we run the football, we have our great defense, we'll be just fine. Defense has been very bad, and we're losing football games. More than just the defense, but in my opinion, that's the biggest problem. Now, Nick Foles did better in his second outing, but he still couldn't get the offense going. Yes, and, and listen, it, winning and losing rises and falls with your quarterback. When you lose football games, when you're a bad team, the quarterback's going to get some heat, and he deserves some heat. Uh, the one thing I'll say about Nick Foles is he's not turning the ball over, which is good. Um, but at the same time, not enough explosive uh, plays, not staying on the field, not finding the open guys. Uh, it looks as if he's, it's, the arm strength isn't there, some underthrown passes, which are concerning, which are a little surprising. Just not playing real well or not having the production that you expect out of, out of Nick Foles. In his third quarter, or in his uh, post-game post news conference, he said it's a process. That's uh, just an excuse? You know, it's, it's, Nick is always going to say the right thing. Uh, when you're down, and everything he says... Uh, I agree with. He talks about having perspective and, and character, and this develops character, and it's a process. Yes, that's all true. Um, but this process needs to, to uh, speed up. It needs to <laughs> happen a lot quicker. If we're talking a pro about a process that lasts until next year, I don't think fans want to hear that. Fans want to win right now. They want to know what the problem is. How can it be fixed? How can we get this franchise uh, back to its winning ways? Uh, that's what the the process that we want right now, win some games, and it's just not happening. Third quarter, disaster. Ah, 28 points in the third quarter. The thing is, Bruce, is that NFL games are, are, are close games. They come down to one touchdown, a field goal, one possession, whatever it is. We're getting blown out by over 20 points the last three games against teams that we measure ourselves against. Divisional opponents, the Texans, the Colts, um, in this case, the Titans. We're getting blown out by these teams, and it's not even a good division. There's not even a, a lot of good football teams in this division, and yet we're getting blown out. We're in a bad place, and it's not just Nick Foles, and it's not just the defense that I talk about. Um, it's coaching. It's, it's everything. It's special teams. We fumble a kickoff return. I can go on and on. It's bad football right now. It's a bad football team. Changes will be made. Will they happen in the next couple weeks? Doug Marone said, I'm not changing the quarterback. I'm not changing my defensive coordinator. But changes are coming. Did the shot Khan wait till the end of the season? Uh, in all likelihood, because I don't think there's anybody on that coaching staff that could assume the interim head coaching job. Um, there's not a guy that has head coaching experience in the NFL. Uh, so I don't think that'll happen. I think it'll happen afterwards. Given your druthers, would you rather be, uh, oh, I don't know, on a deer stand in Crawford, Texas, or in the stadium? Right now, I'd rather be in a deer stand. Actually, you know what? I'm just glad to be with you right now. Good to have you here. Hear more <laughs> from uh, Mark tonight on the Mark Brunel Show. Cole Pepper, Mark, and Eden Kendall live at 7 o'clock at Sneakers in Jack's Beach. If you can't make it there, you can watch it all on CW17.